everyone, my name is Iris Franz, Today I'm going to solve a problem of international economics. In particular, um, I'm using Carbaugh's textbook and I'm solving chapter 2, question 12. And I hope that you have tried to solve this yourself. And uh, if you try it and you still can't solve it, then you watch this video. So in this question, we have two countries, Canada and France. And uh, um, each of them has a production possibility listed in your table 2.8. And we're required to draw the production possibility curve, putting aluminum at the horizontal axis and steel on the vertical axis. So you're just going to draw the production possibility curve according to the information you're given. And uh, you're also told that um, under Autarchy, meaning we're not trading with each other, then you will have to consume whatever you produce. And in that situation, um, Canada is going to produce and consume 600 tons of aluminum and 300 tons of steel. So we're going to mark it A. A stands for Autarchy. And uh, for France, they will produce and consume 400 tons of aluminum and 600 tons of steel. So you just mark it and um, list it as A prime. So we know that under Autarchy, if they're not trading with each other, then um, point A and point A prime is what they will produce and consume. In the next, we're required to find the marginal rate of transformation and that really is just the slope of the production possibility curve. So in Canada, you can find the MRT is equal to the slope, which is 500 divided by 1500, that gives you a third. Meaning the opportunity cost of aluminum is equal to a third tons of steel in Canada. What about in France? The MRT is equal to 1200, divided by 800, and that's just the slope of the production possibility curve. And that's equal to 1.5, meaning the opportunity cost of one ton of aluminum is equal to 1.5 tons of steel in France. And you can see the opportunity cost of aluminum is lower in Canada than in France. That tells you that Canada has a comparative advantage in the production of aluminum because the opportunity cost of aluminum is lower in Canada. And at the same time, it tells you immediately that France has a comparative advantage in the production of steel. So we're going to mark their um, specialization point as point B and point B prime. You can see that Canada is going to produce only aluminum and France is going to produce only steel. So you can see that the specialization is complete. And why is that? That's because we have um, a constant opportunity cost and it does not increase. So the next question um, asks you, um, so compared to before specialization and after specialization, do we produce more aluminum and steel? And the answer is yes. So before specialization, you're told that the total aluminum is equal to, so in Canada, they produce 600 tons of aluminum, and in France, they produce 400 tons of aluminum before specialization. So the total aluminum will be equal to 600 plus 400, that gives you 1,000. And after specialization, you can see that Canada is producing aluminum only. So we're producing here, and the total aluminum is 1,500. So we have 500 extra tons of aluminum. What about steel? You can see before specialization, Canada produced 300 tons of steel and uh, um, France produced 600 tons of steel. So you sum it up, 300 plus 600 is equal to 900 before specialization. What about after specialization? We know that France is going to specialize on steel and they produce only steel, so we'll produce 1,200 tons of steel. So we got 300 extra tons of steel after specialization. Because 1200 minus 900 gives you 300. So you say, oh, specialization is good. Um, what about part B? So part B asks you um, about the price of aluminum. What is the um, upper and lower um, level price of steel? Sorry, uh, of aluminum. So you can see 
aluminum is sold for um, a third tons of steel in Canada and it's sold for 1.5 tons of steel in France. So you can tell that um, the terms of trade is going to be between a third tons of steel and the maximum 1.5 tons of steel for every ton of aluminum. So that will be the price of aluminum. A ton of aluminum is sold between a third ton of steel and 1.5 tons of steel. And uh, um, finally, you ask uh, whether Canada and France they um, benefit from trade. You can tell that um, because the question tells you, and um, we're going to trade 500 tons of aluminum for 500 tons of steel. So you can see that um, in Canada, initially we are we're specializing here, and we're going to export. 500 tons of aluminum in exchange for 500 tons of steel. So we're moving to the left and moving up 500. And therefore, eventually, because we have 1,500 tons of aluminum and we export 500 tons to France, so we're left with only 1,000 tons of aluminum. But at the same time, because we also import 500 tons of steel from France, so we are eventually consuming 1,000 tons of aluminum and 500 tons of steel. Now, what about France? So they specialize on steel only. They produce 1,200 tons of steel. And they're going to export 500 tons of steel to Canada. So we're moving down by 500. So how much do we have left? We have 700 tons of steel left. And at the same time, we're going to move to the right. By how much? 500, because we're importing 500 tons of aluminum from Canada. So eventually, we're consuming here, point C prime. And uh, uh, Canada is consuming at point C. So they both consume outside of their production possibility curve. That tells us that they both benefit from trade. But by how much? So you can compare. Um, for Canada, you can compare point C and point A. Then you'll see exactly how much more aluminum and how much more steel they consume. So you can see um, Canada is now consuming 1,000 tons of aluminum, contrast to before only 600. So we have 400 extra tons of aluminum in Canada. And what about steel? So initially, um, Canada had consumed 300 tons of steel and now they are consuming 500, so they have 200 actual tons of steel. So Canada is doing better than before. What about France? Um, well, compare point C prime to A prime. So now at point C prime, we can see that they have consumed 500 tons of aluminum compared to 400. So we have 100 actual tons of aluminum in France for us to consume. And what about steel? We now have consumed 700 tons of steel instead of 600. So we have 100 extra tons of steel. And finally, you're required to describe the trade triangle. Trade triangle is really this, um, from point B to point C. So initially, we are producing here in Canada, and now we're consuming here. So that would be your trade triangle. What about first? Um, initially, we know we specialize at point B prime, and now we're consuming at point C prime. So that one, that triangle will be your trade triangle. So I hope this helps, and uh, uh, I'll see you.